hi this is uh, again back to another live stream and uh, today we are going to talk about a thing that keeps coming up in our live stream chat and that has to do with reincarnation because uh, one of the foundations one of the one of the main pillars of superstition or religion as you want to call it in the subcontinent is uh, is uh, the fact that the spirit continues to exist after death and some people think that something called past life regression therapy which is hypnotherapy in some way divyansh says you can't hear me divyansh you can't hear me my is my audio okay i'll continue because i think my audio is okay so nakul can you hear me okay okay so uh, what 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 happens is that people think that hypnotherapy or past life regression therapy reveals evidence that people used to have a past life or that it is uh, going to uh, that their 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 spirit will survive into another life in the future and to talk about this because this is something that keeps coming up to talk about this i figured i'll bring in someone who's uh, adept at these things or at least some what more aware of these things than i am and that person is nakul chenoy who's a professional magician he has had experience with hypnosis and other things and uh, he is the person with whom we are going to talk about all this today so without much delay i shall bring him on hi nakul hey hi vimo how are you good good uh, so uh, you would be someone who has written at least uh, in some capacity in the past about all this about uh, hypnosis past life therapy uh, past life regression therapy and in general the use of magic to imply that something uh, of a superstition something like a superstition is actually real can you give us a brief uh, overview of your uh, background your career uh yeah with regard to hypnosis itself i got into at around i think age 16 to 18 and i've been into hypnosis for a few decades now uh okay. in terms of magic i got in pretty earlier at around age 5 by age 15 i was already performing shows so mm. that's been a, a 30 plus uh, year career um and uh, yeah I, i i perform as the mind reader which essentially means that i'm a mentalist and so in my shows uh, i am doing exactly this right i am using hypnosis i am using suggestion uh, i am using magic i'm using all these together to create the illusion of somebody who can um, go into people's minds and and tell them what they are thinking of uh, or mm. or predict things before they happen so i sort of live this um, make believe uh, that we are talking about okay okay so how did you learn you you learned all this by yourself magic i i am self taught uh, so i i got uh, hooked into magic pretty young like i said i was fascinated by mandrik the magician and i always okay. wanted to be mandrik uh, right okay. from age 5 um and um, i found some books early on i found these magic kits uh, that you still uh, you know get in the market that's what started me off but that quickly got me in contact with magicians and through magicians magic uh, dealers magic shops um, okay. and so i was uh, sort of in the right place at the right time i was brought up in udupi um and uh, udupi had uh, and even now has a uh, uh some of the best magicians of the country uh so i met uh, the shankars there i met rahul adacharya there um and mm. uh, so um, kudroli ganesh i mean uh, these are all uh, sort of the uh, perhaps the top 5 uh, in the country in that sense so um uh yeah so that that sort of started me off in magic um i as i was performing magic i was getting disillusioned with it uh, because i was doing a lot of tricks i was cutting ropes and joining it and i was doing all this um and um, i wanted to be mandrake right and mandrake the magician was, was i have to i have to point out that mandrake of all the superhero choices a child has as a young person mandrake is not the first thing that comes to mind people as you people people want to be flash god and a superman or someone with muscles etc mandrake was a very cerebral hero to be inspired by at such a young age correct and mandrake gestured hypnotically right yeah so <laughs> i wanted to i wanted to be mandrake i didn't want to have this truck load of equipment mm-hmm. uh, that you know put people in boxes and and cut them etc i didn't want to do that 
I wanted mm. to be able to just get because the comic book at least suggested that Mandrake didn't have any equipment. He just walked on. He did stuff. Ah, uh, you know, he just gestured hypnotically, and magic happened. And so I thought, okay, you know, this regular magic is not cutting it. I need to learn hypnosis. So mm. I was, I think, barely into my ah uh, first year PUC. Ah, uh, when I heard that in Mangalore, a person called Pradeep Agarwal was conducting a a hypnosis uh seminar okay. so i sort of got on a bus uh, one hour uh, thing uh, went over there attended a two day workshop with him uh, which was life changing which sort of one dis- <laughs> removed all the apprehensions or or all the things i thought hypnosis does i thought i could just get in front of people do this and they would do everything i want right I realized no, that doesn't happen. Uh, I I thought I could control people with hypnosis. I learned very quickly it doesn't happen. So those two days actually taught me what hypnosis really is. And interestingly, mm-hmm. way back then, um, we did something called astral projection. Okay, oh, yeah. where you yeah, sort of you sort of make a person sit, you take him through a thing, and then you say, okay, I invite you into my house, and then this person. sort of um, and and it so happens that the person i i i am still in contact with the person i did this for and later on he became a very good friend uh, this person was jp from odp again and okay. um, i sort of invited him to my house and you know start describing my house for me and as he's, he's telling me how my house is and he's he's describing everything so this whole out of body experience so all this was was nice was really those two days was was life changing and um, uh, i would i mean i i don't make anything from this but i would highly recommend if people are interested in hypnosis pradeep agarwal is one of the best in the country he's hyderabad based but he does a lot of stuff online i think a lot of his workshops are also on udemy and other places so you can just oh, okay. you know get a get a semblance of what hypnosis is because to a large extent we believe hypnosis to be like what we see in the hollywood movies and and yeah. you are worse in the bollywood movies uh, so um it's not that uh, it is okay. pretty much um creative thinking uh, so, it is uh, it is, if you have go- i'll just quickly wrap up there uh-huh, if, sure, if sure. you have gone through something like um meditation right and and you sort of get to a state where you are very very calm and cool um and and sort of in control of everything right um uh the super conscious kind of a thing that sort of is exactly the same state uh that um hypnosis helps you get to but very very quickly you don't need to have uh attained all that concentration because you are sort of going into a trance and you you straight reach into uh the so called hmm. super conscious so yeah just a just quick parallel for you so because <clears throat> i i actually earlier today when i was looking up not earlier today this last few days i've been looking up some stuff about past life regression therapy and it turns out that the opinions about its ability to access something like a past life memory are wildly different even among people who think that it is possible because there are people who do believe that past lives exist but there are people who say, but those same people in some cases might say that hypnotherapy is not the way to do it and uh, you would appear to be someone who is of the view that hypnotherapy is not uh, cl- like memories accessed so called of a past life through hypnosis are not reliably that so uh, let me clarify that a bit okay. um, over the years over these 20 odd years i have gone through uh, a lot more trainings uh, not just okay. in india but also abroad i have attended uh, some trainings with some of the best uh, uh, hypnotists uh, in the world and some of them being hypnotherapists um, okay. and i because of my um, standing in the world of magic these guys are uh, some of them are really good personal friends right um now um, there are two sides at at the base there are two sides to hypnosis right one um hypnosis for entertainment and hypnosis for therapy and and other things right okay um i personally have always liked to stay on the uh, the school that is um hypnosis for entertainment okay right having said that i have dabbled and i have gone through all these courses on the therapy side um mm-hmm. now 
what so therapy when we say is is a really large word right so uh back in college uh, on a small trek somewhere uh, a friend of mine twisted his ankle i just mm-hmm. said um it was just like a few weeks off this off this uh, course that i had done with the pradeep so i'm like look into my eyes you know you're not going to feel the pain it's gone right um, but when you go and meet the doc it will come back so that you can tell him what yeah. how, how much pain you're really feeling right and it worked right and i'm like yeah this this works so now that is also therapy right but that is therapy at a at a uh, at, at at one one stage at a, at a limited stage in that sense um then you can get into phobias and and things like that which is slightly more permanent okay right um uh, and and hypnosis is very useful there i mean i think the best use of hypnosis for therapy is around uh things um around the phobias because most of the phobias are here are in the mind there is no mm. real medical reason for it right uh, i mean yeah. there could be psychological reasons but mm-hmm. generally they're not uh, um um uh, it's not like um, so yeah so essentially because it's about the mind hypnosis helps a lot to um uh, remove uh, phobias in that sense right okay so before i get to the point where i ask you uh, about past life regression therapy if you, if in a nutshell you can tell us what is it that happens to someone when they're in a state state of hypnosis because you just mentioned that it was uh, you could make someone forget about their pain so what exactly happens to the mind is there a simple way of putting it um yes um everything that is happening um around us the the moment we are now talking to our, each other the, everything that we are understanding etc is pretty much happening in our mind in our brain right mm-hmm. and um there are in hypnosis um, when we do stage hypnosis we uh, also bring in this aspect of saying believe uh, pretend or act okay? okay believe pretend act believe pretend act we just say that okay. uh, so as a stage hypnotist i don't really care um whether you really are in a trance or you you are pretending you are in a trance or, or you, you believe just, you're in a you know, trance yeah or you or you believe you are in a trance so it doesn't matter to me as far as mm-hmm. you you play along in that sense right um now when you're talking therapy it's the exact opposite and um the the primary thing that's happening is that the primary thing that's happening is is about the mind so now okay. um i'm going to try explaining this um in 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 as dumb a, a way i yeah, can yeah please please um, which is um the classic way we go about life right if we say hey today is a great day it's it sort of whether it turns into a great day or not you start feeling good about it you you have some happy positive associations yeah if at some point of the day you tell yourself uh, oh no today is really bad is the worst and then it sort of feels like everything is just not working out now i'm not even getting into the physical side of things i'm just using that to explain what's really happening in the mind right there are things we do when we are getting on stage um a, a lot of performers do this that is before you just get on to the stage you just in the mind go through the whole show start to end very quickly and sort of say the audience is going to love me today etc etc right so that yeah. is about uh, so that whole thing again you know pretend act believe right so that is basically what's happening in hypnosis that okay. um either i am completely taken in so hypnosis is uh, is taken me to a mental state where i am actually believing everything and it has an impact on me right um and and that is when it is most effective especially for therapy and other things okay at most other points the second and third one that i mentioned it's nothing but creative thinking third is slightly more third is i want to be the star right so hypnotists always have a great going in college campuses Um, okay. you know you you may be a okay hypnotist but in a college campus you're going to like rock uh <laughs> because you you are basically going to call 10 to 15 people on stage 
and gonna give them the license to go crazy go nuts on stage and blame me or or the the performer for it i have no clue did i do that did i run around uh, yapping like a dog oh i have i have i have no clue how that happened right <laughs> so now why hypnosis works is not really well established or explained in science um like you said there are too many schools of thought and there is a lot of uh research which says yes hypnosis is real equally there are research which says no it's just a it's just a make believe it's it just flim flam right ha huh, that um, is also something i came across like people were saying that is hypnosis real is also a question that a lot of people still talk about very seriously correct so research has shown that there is something that happens in the mind right there is this change of mental state there is a calmness yeah. that comes in very similar to again i'll repeat uh, connected to meditation Uh, any kind of a relaxation exercise so at mm-hmm. best hypnosis or, or or rather at worst perhaps hypnosis is a wonderful relaxation exercise at best uh, it is brilliantly creative and can help with therapy and other things um and again when i say therapy i i am still talking about phobias i am talking about um reducing pain um like physical pain because pain is felt in the mind so uh, talking to the mind in that sense can help um abate the feeling of the pain it's almost like you've taken a painkiller it's it's basically okay. that just with words right and it works you have to see that in action for it uh, uh and there are there are of course stories that you hear which are like there are a lot of uh, practitioners who who say um you know that they have uh, run pregnancies under hypnosis etc they run surgeries under hypnosis i i am not that much of a believer right uh, but uh, i i have seen it uh, uh, it being immensely useful to help people with their confidence um uh, to just go over a, a lot of phobias i myself have have uh, used it to help people who had who for some reason felt like they had seen a ghost at at some point in time and mm. you know that that thought was with them and uh, um to sort of take them through a session where you basically you know help them go over the phobia um okay that's where i will draw the line right and i'll sort of park here because now i after this i will get into um uh past life regression and perhaps things yeah, like yeah, that yeah. and so i will I was, i'll yeah go on huh, i i was i was going to get there in due course of time but i wanted to set up you like i want to prepare a path to get to that point and uh, like you you mentioned that hypnosis can put people into a meditative state and there are guru type people who say that meditative states can also bring back past life memories or that if you meditate really hard you can become aware of your past lives etc and i asked you earlier uh, if you uh, are a materialist or a believer in some stuff and you said that you do believe in some stuff so before we go into your ideas about whether or not hypnosis can bring back past life therapy past life memories do you think that past lives is a thing do you think that the soul exists after death i don't know um, okay. i would love to believe all this when i yeah. say i'm a believer so would i by the way i would love to believe all this i I'm can't but i would love to yeah no, no correct i'm a magician um and i would love to believe that there are real magical powers out there i would love to believe that people can appear things and make it come for real um i would love to believe that people can really um read people's minds um you know all that i do on stage i i i would love that to be real and i'm always yeah. on a search for finding people uh, who can do this for real sadly every time i come across something it's it's a very badly done magic trick yeah uh, <laughs> and that's i think that's that is, where like, the problem happens you you mentioned earlier right like before a show you'll pump yourself up by telling yourself that people are going to love me i think the end result of all of this questing is to find that's what happened to me by the way is to find that human beings are very 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 bad at telling the difference between stories and reality they're so bad that they believe their own stories that they tell themselves but that's in, a in psychological fact, uh, that that's a known psychological um uh syndrome comes to mind but uh, effect um um uh, dan arely comes to mind uh, for uh, stories around this um yeah. uh, and, and and also a ton load of other um um uh, psychological research um 
uh, now the uh, i think i think it was predictably irrational which sort of starts with um where he says uh, three people of three of them were talking and each start describing he and two of his friends who were professors um and uh, they start describing where they were on 9/11 when when 9/11 happened mm-hmm. and they realize that um the three of them are saying um very different stories and at some point um dan realizes that one of them is actually telling the other story oh wow and he's telling yeah. it like me my son yeah, yeah, he yeah, went yeah. through this etc etc right um and that's the part of pretend act pretend believe the words of believe uh what i said is exactly okay. that the mind doesn't know the difference the human yeah. mind does not know the difference between act pretend believe the moment you start acting you start pretending because you yeah. you are now it's it's like want it's like a good method actor who wants to uh, cry on the scene right they live that moment they start with uh, wanting to act and that leads into the pretend which is that they want to live the moment Oh yeah and absolutely. then before like... they know it before they know it real tears are coming out yeah because now they're living in that moment and that's the belief yeah right and so uh in in one of the pieces i wrote um around hypnosis um was uh, not even getting into a trance it was like if you're walking into an interview uh just before actually going in uh in the world when we actually went into rooms and met people uh you know just in your mind close your eyes and just imagine you going through that going in and acing the interview blah 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 right and then you just go around life normal but you in your mind goes through like oh i have been here before this is the second time i'm doing this and all yeah. your fears are gone right you can simulate and- you can like it's a it's you can spontaneously create confidence when previously there was none correct and and that is basically at the essence of this right uh mm. even when we are saying hypnosis is something um at some point if you're taking somebody through a, a, it's a lot of placebo right uh, if you are even when you're doing therapy it's a lot of placebo but it's a placebo um 100 times because i have put you in a state um in a susceptible state to be very frank um where you believe that for lack of a better example it's reeky uh i mean you know somebody standing and doing no, this you're totally allowed to make fun of ricky here <laughs> you know, um um so i mean and you feel it i mean forget that let's try this right everybody here i want you to just hold your hands right uh next to your your own hands like this uh vimo come on do it i uh, just put this and uh, bring that slightly like uh say you know uh, yeah that should be fine and now uh slightly far off yeah perfect now i wanted to just concentrate between the two palms right okay. um don't don't uh, rest your hand on the uh, mic just uh, either you know how to keep it below or it's okay if it's not no it's above straight. it i'm not touching yeah. it i can't yeah, touch fine. it it's yeah. too delicate so yeah. now just just concentrate on the palms right or actually the area between the palms and you will yeah. start feeling some energy there yeah it's you already start started. feeling some magnetism right yeah and now just concentrate and now i want you to believe that this magnetism is actually north and south which means your hands are being pulled against pulled towards each other they are coming closer and closer and closer right because as you just imagine that that, that as they get even a millimeter 2 millimeters closer the power gets even more stronger and you will feel that whether the hands come together or not you will feel between your palms a a really like a vacuum pulling them suck like a suction pulling them together right i do feel and, something i'm not sure yeah, what yeah. it so, is so so that's that's basically it right uh, i i'm not even done uh, i'm hoping a lot more people who are watching <laughs> this now or later go through this uh, because um it's just that not there's nothing nothing happened but I know, the I point know. that we, so i think what 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 happens is that like i i, I feel something but i don't know what it is and then you tell me what you think it is and my mind fills in the gaps is that what you right. what is happening um uh, 
also a lot of simple things that always happen in the hand which is a uh, blood flow etc etc yeah and we normally don't hold our hands at this point and we don't hold it like this so there mm. is that feeling of um and, uh, and, um, um, but, this is but like this is really a place i have never been in before but, that sort of thing but what's but what's very fascinating for me is uh when i'm doing this let's say with the whole audience etc you have hands coming very quickly together hands interlocking and then you can quickly get into things like um you know uh, your hands are locked you can't separate your hands and that's it from from something as pretentious as this without taking them into any kind of a trance you can move them very quickly into a trance state hmm. you might have seen a couple of my old videos where you know i am getting people to lock their they, ca- they can't even say their own name they have name amnesia yeah. and things like that um which is which is that which is it is not like i have power over them it's not hypnosis is not me having power over them hypnosis mm. is me being a guide it is self hypnosis at any point hypnosis is self hypnosis i'm helping you hypnotize yourself right and but on it's stage also, it's completely it's also said different. that if someone does not want to be hypnotized they cannot be hypnotized Yes, to a large extent. Yes. Okay. There is always uh, caveats, but so, uh, so there is also the up. thing that you might want to be hypnotized, but may not get hypnotized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so clear yeah. something up for me. Am I right now in a state of hypnosis, or am I talking with you? No, no, you're not in hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> because that would be weird. Turns out I'm thinking I'm having an interview, but everyone is laughing in the chat because I'm clucking like a chicken. Oh, we could do that. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> do so, that very easy so, so people keep leaving your question and the questions in the chat once i am done with my series of questions i'll take on your questions and we'll uh, we'll do this till 11 o'clock so we have time yeah we can do it yeah. is long i'm okay. sorry i was not even <laughs> seeing the chat part of it yeah sorry uh, you can but uh, we'll, i'll put up the questions uh, in sequence on the screen when we get to them uh, right now don't get distracted by them because people are Some sure. people will t- ask you I'm stuff. I'm seeing some friends. I'm seeing some magicians ask questions also. So I'm like oh, going okay. through that very quickly. Acha. So so uh, let's finally get to the main point, which is uh, you had mentioned to me that you don't think that hypnosis can bring past life experiences to mind, and you also said that you don't know if a past life is a thing. I personally am a skeptic okay. and a materialist. Before I, don't I even think go so. there. Okay. I'm more sorry to cut in, but ha, before ha, I go, go on, there, go I need to clarify. Right, I was still hmm. talking therapy. Right? Okay. I draw the line at a point, like I said, about phobias, and I'll explain why. I mean, I personally, every two days, I get emails from people because of my online persona of being a mind reader, of being a hypnotist. Can you help me with this? Can you help my daughter with this? Can you help my son with this kind of a thing? Right. Um, mm-hmm. and many a times people come to you when they are when they've tried everything they they they've actually tried stuff i have had doctors coming to me about their kids because you know they are at a point where they want anything that might mm-hmm. work right mm-hmm. um now that's where a large part of this therapy comes in right there's a so called therapy because now this is beyond your normal thing of oh i your your hand is fractured i'll i'll reduce your pain so that you can go to the doctor right this is a bit beyond that um this is me playing with things i don't know about so um even when i have attended a lot of i'm a certified thing on most of these things right i can actually start therapy practices uh, i have like certificates from trainers in uk us and all that the point i always ask them at the end of it is are you a medical practitioner right uh, i mean are you somebody who is who is a doctor right mm-hmm. um i uh, um a doctor is is i'm using it as a, a over over encompassing word then um because for me the larger uh, problem becomes that of um do i know enough about what i'm doing to people i might like for example you might have some an, an issue um which for all i know might be a tumor in somewhere right uh, and i might talk to your mind and say your pain is gone hmm right and the pain is to a large extent gone now the example i gave you the couple of times i did it i essentially ensured these people do go to a doctor 
uh, because and there was very physical pain, but the pain would come back in its full when you go back to the doctor, right? Now, if I am doing uh, any kind of a long term therapy for people, because that's how this scheme works, right? You come back to me for three settings, um, I'll I'll take away whatever are your ailments. A lot of times we are in that sense just hypnotizing them. We are making them believe yeah. um, that their pain or their ailment is gone away without really knowing what is ailing them. And that's why I said I am on the school of entertainment and not on the therapy. Right. So hmm. sorry, I mean I needed to say this no, before, no, totally. I I... Into, before yeah, I went yeah, yeah. into the past life part. Right. No, past I understand totally because uh, I understand this because uh, in your capacity as someone who's a professional in this respect, I can always understand that there will be caveats that you will need to give. So this was totally okay. And I'm happy that you did it. Uh, uh, because you, you mentioned something crucial and it reminded me of something else that I had read a few years back about uh, like someone wrote to a magazine's help column and said that I do not want to get married. My parents are forcing me to get married. This was a young woman. And apparently they had tried to hypnotize her into getting married. And she wrote to this columnist and this columnist said, A, whoever tried to hypnotize you is violating their medical, you know, oath. And B, this is criminal. And you should, you should like seek uh, legal help and everything. So this does happen a lot. Yeah, I don't know if the hypnosis would work, to be very frank. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me neither. With all due respect, yes. Uh, the hypnotist has no right to do that. And yeah. what the hypnotist is trying to do is wrong. But having hmm. said that, being a hypnotist, I really doubt it would work. Um, so that's, that's we have a related other, question other about that. We have a related question about that, but I'll get to that in a minute. But let's get to our main thing that we are uh, like 32 minutes into the conversation. We still haven't got to our main thing. Do you think past life regression therapy works? And if it does not, then why do people think that it does? Okay. What is past life uh, therapy? Um, earlier, it used to be called past life regression. Uh, in recent times, it's been called past life uh, therapy. Uh, it believes in the fact that what is ailing me today is because, uh, uh, let's say I have a phobia. I'm scared mm -hmm. of the dark. This is how it starts. Yeah. I'm scared of the dark. Why are you scared in the dark? Okay, Vimo, close your eyes. And now... Please play along. No? Play along. Close oh, you're actually I'm asking me. I'm not hypnotizing me. you. <laughs> I'm looking no, at the I chat. I won't hypnotize you. I won't hypnotize you. Okay, just close your eyes. Okay. Okay. And and so let's let's imagine for a minute that you have a, a, a fear of darkness. Okay. Now, we go. one of your various past lives, mm -hmm. he's like really doubtful, right? He keeps opening his eyes to ensure he's not. No, I'm scared of Actually, I'm scared of darkness. <laughs> My own eyes closed. I'm afraid. <laughs> No, I'm okay. kidding. I'll, so do now, it, I'll, so, do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do so, it. I'll do it. Yeah. So one of your various past lives has the answer to you having a fear of darkness. I want you to go to that. Hmm. Lock in your thought on that. Okay. Okay. Now open your eyes. Yeah. I could. I. I was like here to say your eyes won't open and your eyes are stuck and take you in. <laughs> I will. Um. I will, I will uh, not do that. Um, but what you just did, and uh, I don't know if you saw something, um, but okay, curious. What did you see? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. But if I put you in a trance, I've spent yeah. four minutes asking you to do a certain level of breathing, uh, get into a trance, etc., etc., and now I'm guiding you through this. I'm going to give you time. Oh, you're not finding anything. It's okay. Find something. Your creative juices will find something. Something. Yeah. Right. Now it will find something. You will say, oh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm in a past life. Okay. What do you see? I see myself as, as, as uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like dressed. I'm, I'm like dressed royally. Uh, I'm, I'm like on this uh, seat and then there are these loads of people. It looks like I'm a king, right? Yeah. Um. And and uh. And okay. So now this is the um. So now blah blah. You you sort of make them. So you are essentially doing what in NLP we hmm. used to call um a movie theater experience, right? NLP so, in uh, case it, uh, somebody doesn't know about it is it's a neuro linguistic programming. 
Yeah, neuro linguistic programming is again an area <clears throat> um, where a lot of um, again the same thing. It started with saying I can help you take your phobias away, etc., etc. Right? Um, and and they said, oh, what is your phobia? Okay, so the way uh, they had this out of body experience, which was essentially you sit down and imagine that you are seeing a movie play, and um, you. Are watching yourself in that. So, like, if you if you hate darkness, you are mm-hmm. now watching a movie of you in a dark room, right? And so, supposedly, because you have seen this, your fear of darkness goes away. Blah blah blah. Right. The problem happened is that example works for certain kind of phobias. Um, it is very problematic if there are traumatic experiences. Hmm. Right, and now you are asking the person to watch themselves go through relive this traumatic experience hmm. and relive this in their mind again and again. Right, so taking that back into past life, the primary problem here is one: I am just encouraging free thinking, which hypnosis is a great tool for. Right, and for smaller issues, smaller therapy uh, problems, it is it helps. But the moment you um people start believing this like uh it, it's like everything else right uh oh i i have this problem today because in one of my past lives i did this and so now this is now self hypnosis that hmm. is where the dangers are now you are doing self affirmation in the wrongest of ways and you are essentially i don't know what the opposite of self affirmation is uh so self deformation <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you 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 sort of you sort of repeatedly telling yourself this is the problem, right? And you start believing it. And yeah, um, yeah. Penn and Teller, who are very famous today uh, with their Fuglers uh, uh, shows of yeah, magic, yeah, yeah. years back created a series called Bullshit. Okay, uh, it was a seven seven to eight uh, series. Uh, hmm. um, it ran for seven to eight series, and in that they exposed. a lot of this uh, especially things like past life regression and uh, and stuff um now one of the things that um we found uh, in 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 just conducting hypnosis workshops it was interestingly pradeep agarwal has conducted uh, in each of these two day sessions that he does he does one part where he says this is an interesting exercise i won't get into whether this is true or not but i will just you know uh take you through this experience and what and you teach everybody in the like your 30 odd people in 30 to 60 people in the um, um in the class so you get them to hypnotize each other and you hear their experiences right it's very interesting how most of the times they are kings or queens um or <laughs> great political reason we i, I personally have met many gandhis i met many bhagat singhs um <laughs> you know um so it, it's interesting right um so either the uh either the soul is in multiple states uh, or i have i have uh, a question about this uh this these people who turn out to be cleopatra or julius caesar or mahatma yeah, gandhi etc cleopatra is a, do cleopatra you think is a, very, <clears throat> uh, is, is a is a popular it's story. a favorite yeah yeah a lot a lot of people think they were cleopatra in the in their past life but do you think that someone the first thing someone's mind goes to is cleopatra in one person and in some other person it's a completely novel setting like they're writing fiction do you think it's got to do with how creative a person is because someone is not creative they'll ha- latch on to something historical but if they're creative they'll make up their own past life you or is it the other way around right man you can't you can't do anything to choose your future right uh, you have mm-hmm. no bearing on why you are where you are today and we pretty much have not much in that moment bearing on what we can do for tomorrow but here's a free run i am basically saying here's a blank check go and write mm-hmm. your own past and because you are in so called hypnosis you can blame me saying this is real right okay i i take you back to the stage experience of hypnotizing you and saying a dog is chasing you or in las vegas i've seen people i mean in other places also we do i do it i myself have been a participant on stage in pradeep's uh, shows um i mean, I, i love being not just the hypnotist i love being hypnotized being hypnotized uh, yeah yeah i yeah, i yeah, i love that i mean uh, it it sounds like it must be a fascinating experience it is it is it is yeah. quite a fascinating experience because uh 
you realize uh, to a large extent you are you are in control i mean i can either go nothing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or i can completely go yeah like this it's completely here and <clears throat> it just takes that one moment for me to say okay i am going to be hypnotized versus i am not right now i'm not saying everybody can can be that mm-hmm. right uh but that that's that's very interesting okay the last vegas example i was saying was um uh, was was pretty much telling people to uh to strip on stage right um this fantastic uh, hypnotist uh, called anthony cool i was shocked when he just got a person on stage and you know said the room is getting hotter blah 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 and in no time the person was um, i don't know if it was his own person audience i doubt it would be his own person i mean he can't do this he'll probably so, get sued uh, if he did that to someone who was not prepared for it already yeah yeah so but <laughs> it's it's vegas right so in, like i said yeah. you can do it in vegas yeah, that too uh, that too yeah and and uh, but when we do it say in uh, a similar thing in india you would say um you would not get to the physical part of the clothes but you would get um i think like okay the room is suddenly become very 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 cold right um and uh, when i when i stamp my fingers the room is getting very cold uh you are looking for a blanket but there's no uh, nothing to cover you you're looking for a jacket you are feeling cold and you see this entire bunch of 12 odd people on stage going <laughs> like this right and then suddenly you're like okay wait, wait, wait something happened somebody turned on the heater but the heater has been turned on at a very so now what is also very clear is that this is all in the mind and mm. but then there are people who completely sweat uh i mean the the one of the um, po- points where i was trying to uh, help that person who thought he had seen a ghost half way through that session 3 minutes into that session he was just sweating like he was wet because i i basically made the thing of you know just uh turn around and open your eyes and um in your mind of course and there is nothing standing there just look around your room and this guy goes he just starts sweating and i'm like okay in his mind he's actually now imagining the ghost rather yeah. than imagining a room without the ghost ha huh. right and then okay i i so there is a there is a limit to how much there is a limit to how much even you as the hypnotist can control the experience of the person the the control of the experience is completely you right i can only give you suggestions okay so and you don't and, have and much that, control over how those again, suggestions now manifest coming back exactly now coming back to the uh, real uh, past life thing yeah. uh it's exactly that i am just giving you guidance um and now it's absolutely for you um to figure what the past life was or what yeah. you want to see um i sort of saw this message from samarth saying it's very similar to getting high i would think so <laughs> and samarth also says that he will definitely choose the latter but since you <laughs> since, since you mentioned about this lack of control over their experience and you have no control let me, over let how it just, manifests let me just um give an example uh sorry i'll just give a one uh-huh. thing we tried yeah. because pradeep and um, so whenever pradeep agarwal comes to bangalore to do his uh, workshops i just go for the fun of it uh, i just go sit back and watch and you know it, it's also that uh, moment to uh, meet your mentor uh, spend half a day a day because we never get to catch up with each other so the last time this was happening i uh, i i just walked up to pradeep and gave him a like a nudge right so he got a person on stage and he hypnotized uh, after everybody had learned this and said okay now we are going to do this past life thing on stage and he calls it past life regression or whatever so um so he, he hypnotized this person and then um asked the person uh, just because it's a demo um so you will be going to one of your various past lives but just so that um this is um uh you know everybody understand what's happening you'll go to a past life where you are a human and uh, i want you to go to one of your um uh, uh, past lives where you are a human are you there mm-hmm. yet the person says yes uh and then he says uh, okay so uh, look around you uh, you are a girl in um london um now uh you are around age 7 describe what's happening 
right? And this person starts describing uh, how uh, she's wearing a white gown and it's uh, the early 1900s and there are horse carts going around, etc. Uh, and and now the uh, progression happens, right? So now I'll jump you to when you're 20 years of age. I'll jump you to when you are uh, 60 years of age. What, what are you seeing, etc.? very clear depiction of what this person is seeing, what life she is leading, etc., etc. He gets her out of the session. And this person um, that he had hypnotized was one of the, or rather even now, is one of the uh, top past life uh, therapy people of Bangalore. Okay, he okay. was his student. So um, he says, all that is fine how was it he says real uh was it was it did it feel real yeah it felt real this that all that happens he said all that is fine i just have one question how did i know that in one of your various past lives you were a human aged seven and a girl in london and the guy goes uh no answer right and this this was not a normal person this is a person who who, who charges people day in and day out to do... So this was our way of yeah, teaching yeah. him a lesson, right? This is like uh, self-delusion on another level. It's, it's absolutely... <laughs> Professional that. level. It is, it is all about me planting a thought. And that's what I do on stage, right? Yeah. If I want you to think of something, I am planting a thought in your mind. I am doing gestures. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of things to make you do certain kind of choices. Hmm. Those are the exact same things that apply when you're doing uh, something like past life regression or, or uh, therapy or whatever you want to call it uh, in, um, uh, in, in um, uh, hypnosis. I'm sorry, I saw another comment and that's why I was smiling. Yeah. Oh, the PMO one. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, so, actually they had reached out to me, but yeah. I don't think in for what? Context, they, they, <laughs> for yeah, what? Let's, let's keep that out. Let's just keep that out. So we have the software think, called Pegasus and we know that this person is an asshole. Can you also hypnotize them into thinking that they don't get infected? <laughs> I so, didn't hear you. <laughs> nor did I. Nor did any of you in the chat. So how did you My like the film is. Inception? Did it strike you as something that was inspired by hypnosis? Weirdly, uh, you're yeah. going to kick me for this. I have not seen Inception. Um, it's always been on my to do. You uh, like I it? I have, I, I have Inception in like Blu-ray. I have Inception on my on. If my you are not sleepy TV. right after this live stream ends, turn your lights off and watch Inception, the Blu-ray version, yeah, I, right I, now. So I think you will enjoy yeah. it a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I've I've heard this. It, I think that's one of the reasons I've not watched it because ton load of people after my shows come and say, uh. You know what you did? That's so like Inception. You're planting thoughts in our yeah, mind. Yeah, planting ideas in people's of, heads. Yeah. And that's been a pitch I've always <clears> been performing with. And so it was like, okay, I do not want to now watch and get, uh, you know, sort of, oh, that's where your plot comes from. So no, no, Inception is actually about say, a magician. Like if I were to put it in terms of stage magic, a magician plants ideas in someone's head and then faces the consequences himself. So that would be the best way to describe it. But I won't spoil it for you. Please do watch it. I will, uh, I will. Yeah. So I think we can uh, take wanna... a few questions. Huh, sure. It's a, we're already at 50 minutes. So I wanted to ask one more question, but we'll see if we have time left after uh, the audience question is over because that's just one thing I wanted to ask. We can, we can uh, extend. I'm okay with it. Shamir says, hold on. Mm. Hey, Shamir. Shamir says, a popular question I've been asked by many is that does hypnosis work in all languages or are there any language barriers? Hypnosis works in all languages. Uh, the person being hypnotized should understand the language that he's being hypnotized in. Having said that, I have friends and Shamir, you would you are a magician, so you would know a few of these. Uh, who? Oh, uh, Shamir is a magician. Hi, Shamir. Yeah, he's, he's I think logging in from the US. So, okay. um, uh, and um, um, these um, okay, uh, there are there are performers who who can hypnotize uh, without too much reliance on words. Um, now, what can they do with it? How much, uh, like, is it all about only taking somebody till a, uh, till a trance or 
um, beyond that uh, is 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 the different thing, right? So, what do you want to achieve after hypnosis? Like after hypnotizing somebody, what do you want to achieve? The second part, but hmm. does it work? Um, uh, like uh, my friend Brian Phillips uh, in Taiwan, uh, he uh, just and and ton load of people like that who just generally do what something called uh, street hypnosis. They just walk up to people, tap on it, the video looks like this. They just walk onto the people, tap on them, just say something and walk off and that guy just stands there like this for like you know for an half do you believe that is real do you believe that is real yeah, yeah i i i, I can do that so yes it is real oh wow okay i'm not yeah. going to i'm i'm not going anywhere close to you any ever in my life like i'm scared no, i'm, I'm not one as good time... as those guys but i have learned from brian ages back and then uh, some more friends of mine uh do this immensely well um I I I sort of again digressed from hypnosis into other areas. So so and I I don't I don't see the value in getting twenty people on stage and making them stand like statues on stage. My show is not about hypnosis. My show is about reading minds. So I use hypnosis or or skills of hypnosis only to plant thoughts and and make people more susceptible. Right. Okay. okay. Um, so Maybe that's it's... where my focus is. The, the the one time i have met you in real life was at a comic con i can totally imagine you coming and telling me go sell someone else's comic books and i'll be like ravan and kya baad mein mujhe bech diya kis your company ki company <laughs> rutvija asks do you go through hypnosis while learning it and i will just add a supplement to it is it possible to learn hypnosis without getting hypnotized so um I try to learn hypnosis through books uh like I learned I like like I learned magic through books mm. pretty early on it didn't work for me especially those kind of books that I found in India where like put a candle and stare at it ah. for 8 hours or whatever nonsense uh so I I didn't have the patience for it and so clearly I can't just look at you and hypnotize you I can today, but that's a different story. Okay. Uh, no, but you learned how uh, to. But, you went but, through the process. But yeah, but but go. I do believe um, going through hypnosis as an experiencing hypnosis. Whether you believe it is true, whether you believe you played along, whether you believe I just pretended and walked off, it is. I fooled the hypnotist. That's fine. But I think you need to go through that experience. Then okay. you know what your audience is going through. Yeah. Because. the the biggest thing i have heard from people is like i met this hypnotist he tried and tried for 30 minutes he just could not hypnotize me right i met this guy once uh in in my hometown um and um so i said do you want to be hypnotized he ran one of the biggest super st- uh, uh, uh large stores there uh, grocery stores hmm. so um i said do you want to be hypnotized he i always wanted to be hypnotized but i've never been hypnotized I said, okay, let's do that. He's like, now? I'm like, yeah, now. And and three minutes later, he was completely into it, mm. right? Because I took away a few of the fears he had about his process. One, the point that um, since we're here, um, the point that um, when I hypnotize you, you will be like in a state of coma. No, that's not how it is. Actually, remember the creative mode. You will mm. hear more. You will perhaps hear. things that you normally don't hear because you are now mind is concentrating a lot more it's free of all the immediate uh, things right so so it um it um while we as an hypnotist also i will do things like your hands are stuck and your hands can't come apart or your eyes are closed and you can't open them but the point is as simple as that when you are in a hypnosis session um all it really takes for a person to come out of the trance in that sense uh is open their eyes or at any point tell tell themselves i'm done with this right i've seen this on stage i've seen this like 20 people completely like this and the hypnotist gives a suggestion one of the people just doesn't like it just, just <laughs> wakes up looks at him and just walks off from the stage done right so okay. yeah so Rutvija yes i think going through hypnosis while learning it uh is the best way to do it so there is a question from priyansh agarwal saying what is the explanation for children having past life experiences or rather i think he meant claiming to have past life experiences and these experiences coming out to be true so um 
ages back uh, you guys must have heard of this person called uh, professor richard wiseman uh, richard wiseman is one of the most famous uh, 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 psychologists in the world uh, today uh, he's written books like cocology uh, he has the cocology channel on um, youtube which i think has millions of billions of views um richard and i were working on trying to find people who had uh, who claimed a uh, past life right um um that they had gone through uh, i uh, like i have this kid who can tell me that he was this 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 person and then we went and searched for that and um, hmm. i have a book on that somewhere here um reincarnations yes that's the book that i remember now um so there are ton load of these stories out there but and and richard at that point in time wanted to pick three or four stories across india uh, he's he's in uh, edinburgh uh, he's part of the hertfordshire university um and he wanted to um find out if some of these were real so i did letters to editors across the country this was early 2000 uh, okay. letters to editors across the country and all that we got some 10 12 letters <clears throat> um there is no not a real uh, evidenced story that has emerged from all this uh, not just what my example but in in all this covers work and a ton load of work um of course in popular culture there is right popular culture you always say oh there is this kid unverified this. Uh, yeah ha, and i went yeah. and searched and and he happened to be that guy right yeah uh, he 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 went and said hi to the very recently grandmom. also uh, there was some news article about a scientist who has prepared a boat load of case studies and he says that they are falsifiable like children have claimed to have these details in their past life and when you go and check those details those details are found to be true so in so the, like i'm not saying so the, that you know the answer to this or neither or or anyone does but what image what conceivably could be the reason behind children come right. up so, coming up with accurate details i have no clue to be frank okay. uh, out, outside of my purview but um most of the times stories get added on i start with hmm. one word or i start with the line right yeah in uh, in trying to find something um, the whatever was the original let let's say you you're a story writer let's say you write five lines as a story right and then you go out and 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 do 20 conversations and come back and you don't get the first four lines but you have to write the same four lines again without looking at your first four lines you're going to write mm-hmm. completely differently but you're going to believe this was exactly the story i said earlier very weird example but i personally believe something like that is happening um mm-hmm. but no, that's why totally would understandable suddenly, yeah. why would a kid suddenly wake up and say i was this and I, you know uh i i am not like it's like be... it's like the, it's like the parents are instead of asking the child what do you what are you saying they'll say who were you in your past life and the child will come up with something because i remember Dandy. asking my nephew if he has seen a snake and he said yes how big was it he extended his arms because that as far as he could extend it and then i asked how many arms did it have and he said 10 arms because that's how much he could count and he was a baby barely walking so children if you give them a sentence with three blank spaces they'll fill in something no no absolutely so, i mean like yeah. i said this is creative thinking at its best but yeah. if you want a scientific answer for it i'm not the qualified person to answer that no. but uh, yeah. in in my my own world of theories i think that's exactly what's happening kids are basically okay. um, either the parents want the kids to come up with these kind of stories because that's the parents claim to fame many okay. a times it's the parents claim to fame i mean it's like oh, you yeah, watch totally. all these talent shows you watch all these talent shows and i think this was something you wanted me to touch upon uh recently a kid went on and and uh, uh, we went after amitabh bachchan after that because he said this kid has supernatural powers he just made it he just said it in fun but that became the um, promo clip for this kid because yeah. she blindfolded herself and she was able to read or whatever that that's nonsense. a common thing also like someone called rajiv malhotra uh, stood by a saffron guru whose name is uh, what nitya swami nityanand or something and they were into this like they were trying to open schools in bangalore to encourage children to pursue this their third eyes or something and you wrote something about that also 
Yes, so we have been carrying. Uh, uh, forget all that I have written. You can just search uh, Third Eye Nakulshina, and you'll find uh, debunking articles on it. But here's the thing: the next time you find somebody, uh, not a magician, the magician is telling you he's 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 tricking you uh, for your entertainment. But if you're finding uh, anybody in your family or in your circles uh, uh, who has paid ton load of money, I mean, trust me, this is fifty thousand lakhs of rupees plus. for a kid to go through a two day three day workshop uh, where they coerced into learning um how they can sort of read minds uh, with uh, with a um, with a blindfold um the last time i met a kid like this um i said you know i trust you completely um i i just have one thing can you remove the blindfold and put that on the book hmm right and now read keep your eyes open i don't care mm. because as a magician um i can blindfold myself and and uh, you know put hoods around my neck etc etc put steel steel blindfolds or whatever and drive and and do stuff um so uh, magicians have been doing this for 200 year plus so there are yeah. ton load of ways we can do this yeah they are using one of these methods they are teaching the kids this method but they are teaching it in such a way that the kids are coerced into believing that they they should not tell anybody that you know they are cheating yeah uh, so much so if you hint at you are cheating or anything like that the kids will start bawling screaming and shouting uh it, it's it's all there um uh, so it's very simple be very nice just say you know why cloth on the i put the cloth on the book hmm uh i mean to be frank i would find it very very difficult to do something like that but oh, that is uh, actually yeah. a very good way of dealing with this So, but we are at 1 hour 1 minute right now do you are you okay with going on for 10 more minutes or should I'm we wrap fine, it up i'm fine i'm fine no, okay I'm, so I'm so before we proceed with to the next question i would really love it if you could show us your book so um this is um smart course in magic um this was published in 2015 uh with okay. hapa collins Okay. Uh, this is available across the world, uh, mostly through Amazon um, and uh, most of the bookshops also. But I think it's pretty much run uh, out of stock in most of the bookshops, uh, so you would find it uh, easier on on Amazon. So this is the only book I've written. So if you go into Amazon or or any of the bookshops and and search for my name, which is down there, uh, you will find Smart Course and Magic. This is a course in magic. Uh, I used to do a workshop. I used to do a two-day workshop in magic. Uh, that workshop uh, is what's uh, in um, is condensed into the book. Uh, mm. This is not a book of two hundred tricks and things like that. I think I barely teach twenty uh, tricks in there. Um, but the point is, I teach performance. Uh, the idea here is again. Um, I think there's a chapter on hypnosis also. uh but uh, the primary thing is <clears throat> what is magic how do you how do you approach magic and how do you perform magic is is what is uh covered in there primarily thanks you for think the people <laughs> no that's perfect all right of that that would have been a lost opportunity if i hadn't because i do think that more people need to be aware of how their minds work how their minds can be fooled so that the kind of thing that we often run into superstition for example can be dealt with more effectively but uh, um just to add on to huh? that i believe mag- i believe magic is something people should absolutely totally learn and especially kids should be taught magic uh, even if you know i don't mean so much because i have written a book on it but um it is the best tool for developing critical thinking yeah if you have a kid in the home um who knows even three or four magic tricks and they understand the principles why magic works they're going to mm. question everything in life you don't need to teach yeah. them how to question things yeah. they are going to question things in a way uh, no other education can uh, you know uh, train them for and uh, which is why a lot of uh, universities in europe uh, are are especially uh, putting a lot of thought into critical thinking and magic for example so mm. yeah so that's that's a side benefit so samarth has a question a person who is good a person who is in good mental health and has strong convictions and from form of certain beliefs is it difficult to hypnotize them into believing in something opposite to their beliefs 
i think this is something that is related to that uh, thing i we, we were speaking about where a girl's parents were trying to hypnotize her into getting married yeah so um quite an abstract question samarth um so it's it's difficult to give a generic answer to this right um so i i mean what is opposite like i believe uh, smoking is good somebody else had a smoking question i believe smoking is good uh, but i want to be convinced smoking is not good for me which i know internally right i want to give up smoking um and hypnosis will help tremendously with this absolutely right so in a way what you're saying uh, i think yeah that that was your follow that's the other right? question so, <laughs> from uh, him so so um so yeah uh, for smoking and things like that it absolutely absolutely helps uh, but again it has to be you right so i'm, I'm going to talk to you because you asked the question let's say this is you um and it's you that wants to give up smoking hypno a hypnotist can help you but to be frank you don't need the hypnotist it's like saying i will be fit i will run every day right but now an hypnotist can perhaps help you as somebody said to 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 wake up at 5 o'clock every day 5 o'clock in the morning you're going to get up and you're going to run 5 o'clock you'll get up and you'll say what the heck man i'm going to go back to sleep that's what happens even with yeah. this right um yeah. there's this um um i think i was i was reading one of these um agatha raisin stories which i came into contact very recently uh and so she goes through this whole thing where um um she's hypnotized uh to she wants to give up smoking so she goes and meets a hypnotist and he says every time you smoke uh, try to smoke you get the taste of burnt tire so the, so every episode is that like she takes takes a smoke and she goes ah it's the worst thing <laughs> and then <laughs> five six times and then done right after that the cigarette is back the smoke is gone right the, the burnt tire is gone so at the end of it i think it's, it's all here the hypnotism definitely helps um so but the success of it always is also dependent on what the individual wants so i think that answers both your questions in a sense okay so hemant saw you in his office performing magic Out and you syllabus. correctly you correctly guessed the first word on a random page from a book you had never seen before just by reading the face of the person holding the book apparently and how did you do it Hemant, where you like Bangalore? Yeah. So, um, was this? I don't know. Okay, uh, could be ton load of offices. Um, yeah. So I play this character on stage, right? My my on stage character is the mind reader, uh, and on stage it's basically not just say books. I would ask somebody to think of a person or a place or a, a vacation they have been to and things like that, and. Uh, I'll be able to tell them what they are thinking of um and in an unprepared scenario um it would be something like this uh because if if uh, you know rather than using my own books uh, if there are, there are books available like if I was doing this with Vimo at his house I would say hey, why don't you pick up a book from behind you and and look don't. at something and this for that so but I'm not going to really get into the how there Okay so is that you protecting a trade secret Ah uh, yes it's it's more uh, in the territory of um, uh, the the mentalist side of things or the or the magic side of things Okay um, okay okay and um, um yeah so it's that there are there are multiple ways of doing these things uh i don't think explaining it no no totally is gonna be helpful. let's not spoil let's not spoil the magic so hemant obviously always wants to get to the bottom of things he's a friend of mine so <laughs> roshni asks also a uh, lot of people say that they start speaking foreign languages yeah a lot of people in bangalore says, start talking english the moment they get drunk <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah the uh, question i think should I... be do they speak those languages correctly yeah so um yeah so that that would be my my that would have been my follow up uh, so um the the local the 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 vernacular joke in that sense in udupi uh, mostly in udupi mangalore more than mangalore uh, is this whole thing of uh, uh after he gets drunk he speaks english right so that is is like a cultural joke i think that's coming to movies and all also uh, but um i think uh, to make some to hypnotize somebody and say hey you can talk a foreign language if i was doing this on stage and i was hypnotizing you um uh, i would say okay 
um in a moment you're going to speak chinese and you would now would that really be chinese no do you think it's chinese perhaps <laughs> right so that's how i'm going to and does uh, the audience think it is that. chinese perhaps because they don't know chinese they have either. no clue <laughs> yeah so um Nelson says I have not found any scientific study that supports NLP or proves that it works NLP ideas don't match with modern neuroscience any scientific evidence that it does is NLP, NLP a real it... thing okay you're opening a can of worms uh so and Anth- I have a Tony Robbins neuro- book in my Neuroling... bookshelf right here that I have never opened so <laughs> this answer will determine if I do Richard Richard Bandler uh did this phd right up on uh, Erickson's Milton Erickson's work was a hypnotist um on um and and called it neurolinguistic programming that's how the whole thing started right um now they again to me it's a branch of hypnosis because that's how it came about nlp guys always say oh we are not hypnotists we are doing nlp i am a master nlp practitioner uh mm-hmm. and i am like i've done pretty much everything that is there to be done in hypnosis i don't see a difference i think in the in the mind of the audience the person who is going through this they are going through the exact same thing they are just falling for it more than anything else so uh, again for i i would use the same example for an lp also uh, for small little things uh, again for for smoking and things like that it's it's extremely beneficial uh, anything that gets into therapy well if a psychologist is doing nlp why not if a psychologist is doing hypnosis why not because the psychologist at least knows what's going on or is supposed to be knowing what's going on in my mind i am a communicator mm. if i am trying to do the same thing there is a problem is all i'm trying to say hemant has answered it it was 2010 i i i was, was going to say that yeah i was going to say that <laughs> Hemant Singhal says art of living is carrying out a program of intuition process for blind people to identify color or read is that possible what it's a scam yeah uh, this is Hemant, clearly a scam have, what do you have to ask have, about this i have i have an article uh, online uh, on um, on this i have actually used uh, some of the uh, uh, art of living and nityananda and other videos in that but um, i have actually reached out to the uh, aol uh, team at that point in time um, i tried to be nicer to them and said hey your you know uh, your your competitor is doing this why are you guys doing it why don't you come out and give a statement that the whole thing is fake so mm-hmm. they said no 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 what we are doing is an intuitionary process uh, for kids uh, where they can um, they they can read with their eyes closed um and uh, i said okay i will i will come to no no this is why don't you come to the ashram and see for yourself hmm. yes i will happily i have friends did they know that you were a magician yes of course uh, okay. they do know that and i have friends who are who are a uh, part of the uh shri shri setup in that sense so i said i'll come with them right one for my security two for your security also right so they they are these in between people Hmm. uh it never happened because the moment i said we will come uh, give us a date the dates never happened now uh i don't know specifically about the blind people here uh but um i have seen these kids do this uh, the same thing with color and uh, reading etc um they are simply they are just speaking from from this part i mean most of the times uh, they are just speaking from this part um with regard to blind i can think of multiple ways in which uh, they can be trained uh, to identify color yeah. um uh, by mm. by um, unconscious cueing for example um and and uh, differences in a slight difference in material and things like that um, okay. since this process here is uh, to to for lack of a better word cheat people um there can be t- lots of methods uh, to do this by the way i'll just point out there was an episode on shark tank a few weeks ago i at least i saw it on youtube i'm not sure if it was on tv recently where one of the startups that came to pitch their idea was this only like they said that these are our daughters we will blindfold them and our daughters will grab hold things and uh, you know they will tell you what they are 
and one of the things that they handed her was you know that mobile earphone ka box with the rounded corners so she held it she felt it and she said this is a mobile earphone ka box and the judges were really impressed i am not sure they got funding for it or not but this was on hey, send like me the Ashton link TV. no i, I will i will coming out i will link. i will i will this was it was bizarre the kind of stuff that goes on on that show but uh, anyway i think we are at 1 hour 15 minutes and uh, we shall now wrap up before we go nakul i wanted to ask you if you have ever received backlash for the rational uh, stuff that you put out like you know you will go after a superstition that some guru is promoting and uh, their fans will come i i know of youtubers who get their channels banned because of this because their network of followers is quite large so has that something has that something like that ever happened to you um it <clears> happened <throat> on a few of the other things i went after right the tiranga bangle that uh, was launched um, interestingly ah, ah, at that time by navin jindal um yeah. and um uh, a lot of the bjp guys were full support uh, in in uh, exposing that at that point in time this was pre 2014 uh today i guess if any of the ministers at that level was going to do something like this i would be full hardy to try exposing them the way i went after sashi tharoor and uh, yeah. navin jindal back then yeah at some uh, point I, 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 on some level you knew that this world. was a very different india i think it's a different world um yeah. um we did get threats from uh, nityananda's ashram uh, uh and we were told to come to the ashram we said no meters in a press conference right uh, we've done uh, um, i have tied up with uh, narendra nayak who is uh, one of india's top rationalists is the president yeah. of the rationalist uh, federation of india um and we have done uh, programs uh, in in different parts i even appeared on ndtv once uh, on one of these kind of programs uh, barkha show ages back um we do we do get at least i have not got so much friends of mine have uh narendra nayak being in the forefront of it has has a cop always an armed cop going around with him everywhere and mm. things like that yeah um but for me the closest was the series of things that happened with the nityananda ashram which is why i was trying to actually pitch a uh, the shri shri ashram against that uh, as you know unko aapas mein lada do main 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 dekh lunga door se um but yeah no i have um, i think the point of the one thing that we always ensure when they reach out is to say tell them i am a magician right and that seems to push them away because they realize you are not somebody who is out here with an agenda you actually know how they are doing this and they know they can't fight you Hmm. because they might know one method i know 20 <clears throat> methods of doing the same thing yeah no that, that's so, why you um, like someone from your background will be more uniquely suited to flushing this toilet to use a very <laughs> bad example yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so uh, there is one more question that priyansh had asked and i had not put it on screen because i don't want to uh, give medical advice on this live stream but maybe you can direct them in the right direction he says he has tinnitus tinnitus ringing sound in his ear can hypnosis help him get rid of the perception of sound i don't so Ideally, that's, that's exactly the problem yeah can can a hypnotist help you get rid of the perception of the sound yes should a hypnotist help you get exactly. rid of the perception of the sound no because we don't know what's the impact Yeah. most probably what you need to do is find a really good ent and the really good ent you found is not good enough you need to find somebody better than that to yeah, find out yeah. what's really at the problem here and also nakul made clear earlier on that he is more on the performance side of it and not the medical side of it so i think there was that... one question i saw about uh from summer only uh huh. in us hypnotherapy is used yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i just put it up yeah i would uh, love to answer that mm. i'm one of those guests who has to be kicked off the show looks like no no that's okay we can do this for as long as we must be like nagul one hour is up you can leave nagul you know <laughs> no no i i i asked you 
you were the one who asked me earlier on how long will this go on so i keep thinking that maybe i'm keeping you from something we can keep i just going. wanted to plan for it i just wanted to have some tea on the side ah okay um, oh okay. that's tea is um, it i thought you were drinking yeah yeah no, no. <laughs> yeah i was drinking but it's but it's tea yeah okay so um in us hypnotherapy uh, is used by legal institutions such as courts as a tool to recall memory especially yeah. in respect to events which cause trauma such as sexual assault etc is it a credible tool okay uh two parts to this one um i just want to also draw your attention to things that happened in india called narco analytics or some nonsense like that where uh, they were um, <clears throat> inject in bangalore itself they were they were injecting people with some sort of a serum and they said this was going to put people in this trance like state they called it the truth serum and people would would sort of uh, you know they are in a hypnotic kind of a state and they'll tell you the truth about everything um there is no scientific evidence for that and yeah. uh, that is basically this that is basically getting a, a, a criminal mastermind and giving him free reign to 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 basically imagine whatever he wants and say and Make sort of claim and sort of claim that is true because you've just given me a truth serum so whatever i said was true right um this particular thing um i have heard and come across uh, in, uh things like this where uh, hypnosis or um yeah hypnosis has been used to help recall memory um now the problem here is the last part of your question is it a credible tool hmm. uh, and that's where the whole thing falls apart again because there is no no way to know uh whether the, the credit which is why i started with the truth serum for this uh the it's like getting a person drunk because you believe people speak the truth when they are drunk you get people drunk yeah right but there that's just a belief it just it just uh, all wives tale in that sense and that's yeah. basically what this is also this i want to link back to the nlp example i was giving when people have gone through sexual assault kind of traumas to make them relive that um is is the worst thing you can uh you can do um uh, and uh, so i think that has has a lot more moral implications also uh, not just the cre- credibility factor okay okay so i'm just yeah. quickly looking through any anybody if has a one last question that has not been answered Uh, I already asked perhaps the, a lot of them were comments and there are there are a couple of questions that I kind of skipped because we had so already no, talked about them people who are previous. watching uh, ha got it got it yeah. also, so anyone wants to ask more questions please feel free to do apparently nakul has nothing better to do than spend time with us losers <laughs> so <laughs> feel free to ask whatever <laughs> you want <laughs> uh, i don't know this there was a i wouldn't have done this for anybody else <clears throat> there was a comment early on that i kind of skipped let me go to it uh mm, yeah so delson had asked so hypnosis for your description sounds like a placebo effect or an intense counseling session which one is it interesting question uh hypnosis therapy sounds like a placebo it's it's um, an intense counseling session that brings brilliant unbelievable placebo if that makes sense see uh, k- uh, kind of kind of it's yeah. it's a it is a counseling session a hypnosis session is nothing but a counseling session because i am asking you i am i'm uh, basically so called putting you in a trance or not putting you in a trance whatever it is like a psychologist talking to a person the point is in normal situations it's up to you to wet what he said was true not true i will take it not take it and things like that when you are in hypnosis you are mostly susceptible you are in a state of mind where you believe that i will do whatever i am told right and you paid a lot of money is a hypnotized person just sleeping no then it's a very bad hypnosis i i i i have had people uh, uh, <laughs> snore like you have 20 people in the room everybody is um hypnotized and there's one person in the back middle of it going 
right so uh, no that that comes back on the hypnotist and that must be embarrassing on stage you're like you are a chicken and that person is like <laughs> hey man that's that's the uh, question for next year which one what is riki <laughs> what is riki <laughs> the lesser said the better i'm currently yeah. working on neurobiology no but since we are on riki uh, like keep looking through the questions if you find something let me know but since we are on riki and it is not as if you are an atheist like myself what are some things that you believe but cannot prove um no i just believe in 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 a power i believe in nature i believe in uh, the sun that gives us life right uh so i yeah, believe so in those are things sense, uh, even concept, i believe in i i believe in the concept of of a of an almighty or a god that uh, that is that is uh providing all that is good and perhaps a bit of what is bad um now yeah. how much of that has a daily bearing on uh, can my tomorrow be better etc etc that's i think very much in me and i believe that um you know praying or wanting or positive affirmations whatever you want to call it helps make tomorrow better right so but um, but does that does that work because god has an independent existence or does that happen because of what we just talked about i don't care <laughs> as far that's as good, good things are happening good, to me i don't yeah. care matlab aam khao gutliyo gutliyo ko mat giro that sort of stuff right uh dels in the quick answer to that is hypnosis actually started from something called mesmerism look up the word mesmerism and it was all about hypnotizing or or rather mesmerizing animals that became hypnosis when it came to people oh, this okay hmm yeah can animals be so, hypnotized so can animals be hypnotized i believe so okay I have you ever tried. done so no apart from the human animal have They're you ever tried me to be hypnotized <laughs> No, a, a human may have brought you their pet animal and said, "Please hypnotize no, this I, creature." I am not into therapy. Okay, yeah, yeah, that also. But perhaps it was for performance purposes. Ah, uh, no, I I make people believe that a dog is chasing them, or make them believe that they are the dog. That's easier. Hmm. That's funnier. <laughs> All right. Do you have any other questions you can see in the chat that you wish to answer? Because uh, I no, don't I think, think I is. think this is good. Um, this yeah, it's really good. Thanks a lot, okay. guys. I didn't expect so many people. Uh, I'm hoping it's not Vimo, you know, sort of asking all these yeah. questions with different. Yeah, I created thirty accounts and asked you all these questions while simultaneously <laughs> using my hands to do this. Somehow I'm typing with my legs. Apparently, <laughs> we should try this. No, this now. <laughs> sure leave you locked for a couple of days <laughs> so great uh, nakul thank you for doing this so much uh, and uh, i hope that uh, you write another book sometime in addition to this one which i'm sure many people in the audience will be interested in and i do think that uh, you're right when you say that uh, you know hypnosis sorry magic is something that children should learn at an early age because it develops critical thinking faculties so thank you for doing this everyone before i go i'll just remind you that uh, you can uh, listen to this episode also in audio format on my podcast which is at vimo.in yeah what and uh, i'm still seeing questions coming so guys i am at nakul shinoy that's my name with an at on twitter so send in the questions do you want to, there do you want to take this do you want to take this now no 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 i don't want to take okay. any more questions okay. i'm just saying cool. that if people at any point not just today at any point these kind of questions you can direct to me on on twitter and i will be very happy to answer them great so Vimo, nakul thanks a lot for having me before you do a sign off let me uh, no thanks for having uh, me this a, was this hold on, hold on. out of tell me your, tell me your twitter handle that's my name you don't know my just, twitter handle when you met I me do, on I twitter do. I like some double checking 20 just, years back or something double checking so this is nakul's twitter handle you can follow him on twitter nakul shenoy and you can send him messages or tweet to him and he can answer whatever questions you might have please go on with your sign sign off um yeah i think we actually met on lg right uh, way back live journal Speaking yeah of, yeah live yeah, journal yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's that just reminds from, me how old i, I, I know i know i know at we move from like lg days okay 
So uh um, in, in case a lot. like there are people oh. here who were born in 2000 Nakul you're telling them about live journal live journal used to be a blogging platform back Dude, when I'm interviewing people in nowadays 2002 yeah, recently when I'm interviewing people for the UX side of things and I'm telling them I started my career in 2000 they go like okay so <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm on the other side of that now I'm starting to feel quite old um okay so um um thanks for having me and thinking of this and having me and uh, uh because you just popped this question at me randomly uh, a couple, a, a week back right yeah, and yeah. Uh, this is fun i'm not More i don't do this normally as you know and uh, uh this has been absolute fun thanks everybody for asking so many good questions um and uh, we mo yeah it was it was fun thanks for having me thanks nakul thank you so much everyone uh this was this has been nakul chenoy we will come back to this live stream on wednesday when we will be here with sumit kumar the web comic artist from bakar max who was also on shark tank and he will talk to us about some of the things that happened there and i think you'll find it interesting and until then i will take your leave and uh, see you on the next stream bye 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 guys <laughs>